Hello and welcome to Physics Problems One by So here is a problem. As always, read it maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Today problem is two-dimensional, but no acceleration at all. We have a river, and this river is very wide, one kilometer, and it flows, let's say this direction, with the velocity u, and u is very, very small, two kilometers an hour. And there is a boat that goes this way. And velocity of the boat is V, I don't know, 10 kilometers an hour. And this is again not a very fast boat. And question is, uh, what will it take for the boat to cross the river, the time, and also where it will end? Will it end just across, or maybe it will be shifted a little bit? So, this is a typical case of two-dimensional situation, y and x. And there are several ways to solve it, but this would be the fastest way and most straightforward to say that this is a two-dimensional movement, both movements are completely independent and the, this movement determines the time of crossing and this is a movement with a constant speed, so distance equals V multiplied by T. We go there and we come here, but not really here because we also participate in this movement along this axis and we have let's say I don't know L length and this length is caused by the drag the water moves us to the side all the time and it also along this is X movement and this is oh sorry this is Y along this and this is X along this so during the same time we cover distance L and this distance is U by T. And of course we can find T right from the top. It's D over V. D is known, V is known. And of course we know L. It would be U over V multiplied by D. And this is the answer. And we can plug the numbers, T is 1 km and the speed is of the boat is 10 km. So it would be 1 over 10 of an hour. 1 tenth of an hour is about 6 minutes. 6 minutes and we will be on another side of the river. Formula is more important and you will see why we could have put the numbers right away, but it's so simple. Still the formula is better. And you will see in a little while why. And of course, L. L is, and you see how I wrote it, U over V. So it's 2 divided over 10, and D is 1. So it's 1 fifth, 1 fifth of D. 1 fifth of D, 1 fifth of one kilometer would be 200 meters. So, it's quite significant drift. Quite significant drift because we drifted 200 meters when we're crossing one kilometer. So if I would draw it somewhat to scale, this would be this and this would be roughly one fifth. Okay? And uh, this is a solution, the simplest one possible. Uh, and I will talk about these permutations in a little while. So if you like this, 
click like. If you want to hear about permutation, click subscribe and bell. Put your question, put your comment, put your problem. Thank you.